Hi, my name is Trevor Sullivan, a Microsoft MVP for Windows PowerShell and an independent cloud and automation consultant. I wanted to take a moment today to talk to you about the PS Readline PowerShell module that's available out of the box in Windows 10. The PS Readline module is available out of the box again in, in Windows 10, and it automatically loads as soon as we fire up the PowerShell console host. Uh, the module was developed by Jason Shirk at Microsoft, and it provides some additional text editing capabilities in the PowerShell console host that normally you'd be accustomed to in the PowerShell ISE or Visual Studio. So if we run get command module PS readline, you'll see a list of the commands that are available inside the PS readline module. Now there's one command in particular that we really care about, which is get PS readline key handler. If we pipe the results of that particular PowerShell command into the out grid view command in PowerShell, we can get a list of all the keyboard shortcuts that are available out of the box in the PS Readline module. Now, if you scroll through here, you're going to see a lot of common shortcuts for text editing, such as undo and redo, cut and paste. Uh, there's a, a keyboard shortcut to clear the screen called Control L. So if we hit Control L, that just clears our screen. Uh, there's also Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and so on. So what we can do is if we write a, run a command like get process and then pipe that into where object and perform a filter, one of the other cool keyboard shortcuts is control right square bracket. If we press control right square bracket, it actually jumps back and forth between the braces that match each other. We can also use the shift key with the arrow keys to select text and then use control X to cut it Control V to paste it back. If we're running a command and we want to get auto completion for the command name without having to type out the entire thing, we can press Control Space to get IntelliSense, just like in the PowerShell ISE, and we get this little text editor con or text control that allows us to select the command that we want. If we use a Control Space keyboard shortcut with a dash before it to complete a parameter name, we can actually see a list of all the parameters that are available on the command. If you put, simply put a space after that and keep typing, you can then continue to finish the command. You also get auto completion for parameter values. So if we can hit control space here, we get that same control here to see a list of all the processes that are running on the local system. So that's just a really quick overview of PS Readline. I'm going to leave the rest up to you to investigate, but I really hope that this is a productivity enhancement for you and that you get a lot of value out of it. It's to your benefit to spend a little bit of extra time at the beginning to learn all of these keyboard shortcuts and kind of get those into your muscle memory so that you can become pro more, product, uh, more, more productive in the long term. Uh, in any case, you can follow me on Twitter at PCGeek86 and find me online at trevorsullivan.net. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.